We have never, ever, ever done this before. Let's watch this guy go through it here. Let's see how, let's see how he handles it right down the middle. We've got another update and it is update full soft drive beta 10.8.1 or 2021.44.30.5. Now, we're gonna go through what's on the notes here and then we're gonna go to a new set of roads that I think are gonna be awesome to try this beta out on. I've never driven, well I drove them but never on autopilot. I just found it the other day. It's gonna be amazing. So I can't wait to go show you guys that. So let's first see if there's anything new we can find in the update notes. Maybe a little bit of, uh, you know, recovering what's happened over the last update uh, and then we're gonna get out there. So the first thing that they've got on here is the full soft drive beta suspension. That's talking about being suspended off of the full soft drive beta, not suspension in your car. And they're basically letting us know that the force autopilot disengagement counter has been set back to zero on your vehicle, meaning that if you've been kicked out of a full south drive or you couldn't get back into it until you put your car in park and did that drive, that that count's been set back to zero. If you get five of those, then you get basically suspended from the full south drive. And then they're basically letting us know that anytime you take your hand off the wheel or you're using some kind of a device like your phone or something, that is what's going to cause you to be kicked out of the program. So just don't touch any device and keep your hands on the wheel and it's not an issue. Now Tesla over these last couple updates has been really doing a great job at reducing the what we call phantom braking, okay? Uh, and they call it here false cut-in slowdowns and they're saying by 50% again that they have reduced the amount of times that happens and as I've said in the last couple episodes, videos, episodes, what is this freaking Netflix? It is incredibly much, it is so much better like to the point where I don't even think about phantom braking anymore. It's gotten that much better. It's improved photon to control vehicle response latency by 20% on average. Regenerative braking now goes down to zero miles per hour, which before I believe it was at five miles per hour. Basically this gives you a much smoother stop because it goes all the way down now to zero. And speaking of smooth, let me tell you about the sponsor of this video. The sponsor of the video is Timmy and they make this incredible, my favorite phone mount for the car. It's electronic, you put your phone up to it, it automatically just grabs your phone nice and neat. This can be put anywhere on your dash, both on the driver's side or the passenger side. It comes at an incredible price, under $40. And with my code, you can get a massive discount on it right now. You guys only come here for the smooth transition into sponsorships, right? So next, it's improved the VRU, which is basically pedestrian, bicycle, motorcycles, animals, uh, latency error by 4.9%. And what that basically did is they added more auto labeling so they were able to just help the car identify them better and respond to them. It's reduced false slowdowns for crossing objects by improving velocity estimates for objects at the end of visibility, which is super important. So right, it's like your peripheral vision. When something comes into it, it's gonna be able to read them better and help you understand, help the car understand how to respond to them. Cause that's something that the Tesla does do oftentimes or in the past, it's really overreacted to a car going in front, which I'd rather have done that than the opposite direction, but supposedly that's gonna be improved. So we'll watch for that. It's improved speed profile for unprotected left turns when visibility is low, you know, fog, maybe there's some plants or brush there. So it's gonna handle that better. One thing we're gonna be watching for in this drive a lot is, is the whole like, is it improved on creeping forward? Cause the last update for some reason had some issues with that. And there's just basically a whole bunch of updates about handling stuff the car comes upon, whether it's pedestrians or emerging cars or emerging on the freeways or off. You guys can kind of read through that. I'll put this all down in the description of this video so you guys can kind of flip through that. The rest of this stuff was all with the old updates. We won't go through that anymore on this one. What we wanna do now is get out there and see if we notice anything in the full style driving or autopilot abilities. So let's go out and do that now. Also, I wanna point something out to you guys because I didn't know this and there was three things in the last video, the tutorial I made about the user guide for all this new UI uh, that I didn't know about. One is that your air tire pressures are right here under service. So it's actually not that hard to get to. So if you're just right here, you can just come in here uh, to your controls, go right here to service. By the way, you see how the car swerved away from that dump truck? That was pretty cool. 
and uh, there is your tire pressures right there for you. So just bright, big, and centered. I actually kind of like that. I, I like that way better than having it as a card because, again, like you guys know, I'm not a big fan of the cards. The next thing I didn't know where it was was how to view all of your center view videos and your dash cam videos, and it's right here under dash cam. I somehow skipped over that, but that's how you find that right there. So as we're going through this town here, I've been driving for maybe about, I don't know, 10 minutes, and so far I have not had any phantom braking, any weird slowdowns. Let's watch as the semi comes by that the car swerves to the outer lane. There it does. It comes back again. Very good. It's been, it's been very... Um, <clears throat> very comfortable so far and really comforts what you're going for when you're talking about a full soft driving car here's another semi let's see if it responds on a corner yep out to the outer lane does that really good even slow down a little bit for that semi um, and now we're accelerating up to the new speed limit which is 50 so it's done really good and just making sure it's reading the road signs and then i have mine set to adjust up uh, three miles per hour so that's why it went to 53 as my max and not 50. All right, guys, here we are. We are on this gloomy, wet day in the back country here. We have very, very minimal sides to the road. Once in a while, you can see the fog line over here, but uh, we're in this spot. Oh, big, huge puddle in the road. The car does not dodge these, uh, you know, puddles in the road quite yet. But um, so this road's gonna have some windy twists and turns, some really steep hills. It's going to give the car a bit of a test. We're going to keep it at three over the speed limit here. So it's 35, we're going 38. And what I want to see is the car maintain its speeds around these corners. Uh, like right now, it's put our max speed back down to 26 because the speed limit is 25. So it adjusted up that 3%. Um, we're, of course, not going to deal with that garbage. So we're going to go back up to 35 here. Um, just ignore what the real speed limit is. I don't think that's accurate. Um, there's no way it's 25 through here. But we're going to go uh, 35. And again, the corners are fairly sh uh, fairly sharp here. Um, and so as long as it maintains, like look at that, it's slowing down really nicely to a comfortable speed the car's comfortable with, but not to the point where you're like gonna tick off the people behind you. It's like a point where really anybody probably should unless you're trying to kind of hot rod around. So, um, you know, it's it's been really good on roads like this where it's just wide open, like right here we got clear road lines, but like you can see we're coming up on this hill here where the car can't see very far. Um, but it's not having an issue. Here's a garbage can that's kind of out in the lane a little bit. Let's see what the car does. It does, it swerves to this side. Isn't that beautiful? It swerves to the side. Now here's a blind corner, really, really steep. Okay, um, shoot, I think it was gonna actually do it there and I pulled it too soon. At the last second, it acted like it was gonna correct. Um, bummer. Um, so that we're gonna count that as a disengagement because the car wanted to go straight through there Actually, I can't count that as a disengagement because I didn't even have a destination into the map. I didn't know where it was supposed to go, and that road either went forward or turned. The main road did turn to the left, though, so I don't really know how to judge that one. So we're going to just leave that as it is for now. Um, okay, let's put it back here. So it's, it's taken this curve on the road very, very well. It went down to the actual speed limit of 25 to do it, even though it's set, it can use 35 miles per hour of speed, and it just feels really comfortable. I mean, that's probably the number one feeling I've had on this drive is it just, it feels comfortable the whole drive so far. So we're gonna get up to this corner up here, we're gonna turn right, and then we're gonna head down this really neat road. So now before I get there, I'm gonna actually put a destination in here so the car will make the turns all on its own. So there I go, we put the destination in, that's now our new path. So let's see how well the car handles it here. By the way, when you swipe up like that, what it's doing is it's uh, telling the car, now you can actually start following this route, start navigating it. Before, it's kind of the top-down heads-up display for you to double-check it. And over time, it will eventually do that itself. But if you just take your finger and swipe up on it, it'll do it a lot quicker. And because this is blue, I'm telling the car, I want you to enter the full south driving mode. If I was on the freeway, it'd be entering navigate and autopilot. Um, I, I kind of distinguish them. It's still navigating autopilot just in the inner city uh, right now. But when that's blue, that's what that means. So I'm going to try to keep my eyes on the road here, not looking at the screen so I don't get a, uh, a ding. <laughs> and now we're coming up on this pretty sharp curve. What are we swerving away from there? The car did a definite swerve away from something. I don't know if it was a garbage can or what. Okay, we're coming up on this corner pretty hot. This is a pretty sharp curve. Oh, no problem. It put on the blinker for a second there as it was trying to figure out what to do with this curve, but oh, we, did we touch the line? Maybe, it's possible we touched the line there, but um, I think it handled that very well. Speed limit's 35 here, so we should see it drop. Uh, there it goes, it dropped down, so we're now gonna have a max of 37. There's a farm truck with some hay on it there. 
And uh, okay, so there's that braking when a car is turning out of her lane. Oh, you see that? That's what it's talking about right there. How fast the car accelerated after that car got out of its lane. Because that was one of the issues this thing's always had is a car would turn out of its lane and it would take, I'd say like three to four seconds too long before it started accelerating again, which is just kind of awkward for you and the car behind you. Um, but there it didn't. The car, as soon as it got out of the lane, the car went, which is a big improvement right there happy to see that so now we're going to enter into this like wooded area um a little bit of braking right there i'm not really sure why it was about one mile per hour not a lot but you notice it when you're not the one on the pedals when the car is doing it itself you feel you feel everything and so we're going to see how it handles this, this woods here i and i wanted this road because it's really curvy here and there's no fog line almost well i say that and there's a fog line but a lot of times it, it kind of goes away so here we are, We're, I'm gonna, why did it go back to 45? It keeps jumping up to 45 miles an hour when the speed limit here is 35. So I'm gonna put it back down to the speed that it's supposed to be able to handle this at, which is 35. So there's a little bit of discrepancy right there. I don't know if that's, a, it's probably a mapping issue. We haven't passed the speed limit sign that said 45. The last one was 35. See, look, it's back at 45 again. Um, so that right there is a little bit of an error, but you know what car, you wanna go 45? Fine. Do your thing, I'll let you go 40. <laughs> These are a little bit too tight, but you know what? Let's see how you handle it. I'll let you go 45 miles per hour, and then you slow down for the corners you're not comfortable with. See, look it, I told you, Nico, 35, there's a speed limit. You know, you're fighting me, you're back talking me, it says it right there. See, you know, parenting. I just, I get it at home with my kids, I get it in the car with my car. So I handled those curves really, really well. And look at this, this is like, this is so funny to me to be out on roads like this, like farmland all around me and stuff. And it's like, so not anything to do with my life. Can't imagine having to wake up and touch a cow. But uh, I don't know. I don't know if there's even cows out here. It smells like cows. There's a cow. So anyway, it's, uh, I don't know. It, everything about this update seems pretty good. It seems smooth. I don't know that it's any different or better than the last one. Uh, the last one I thought made massive improvements on its drivability and just the comfort you feel inside of the car. Um, I feel like this did a really great job. There's one more road I wanna go to. We're gonna go on the back side of those curves that uh, we often test this on. I just got seeing that we're close to it on the map on the back side. And uh, let's go see how it handles those. All right, we're back in autopilot now, heading into the roads. You can take a look at what we've got coming up against here. There's almost a 90 degree, it's almost like a turn in the road, but it's actually just a 90 degree curve in the road. Okay, front car, cheaper, slow down, damn it. All right, come on. Okay, we're at, we're going down to 35. The speed limit is 35 here, but this is the corner we've never made from this angle, ever, ever, ever. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, are we gonna do this? The blinker turned on. <laughs> oh man, that is nuts. We have never, ever, ever done this before. Oh my gosh, we flipping did it, you guys. So impressive. I can't believe we just nailed that. We did hit the reflective bumps on, ooh, on our side of that yellow line, but the center line, but it did not go over into the other lane, which is extremely impressive. I'm, I'm blown away. I can't believe how well it did that there. All right, car, I'll let you rip at 40 miles per hour up the rest of these curvy roads. Let's put it on, uh, on high speed, for, fast forward, and see what it looks like. Detour, detour for people with petrol cars. Let's see what this is all about up here. Who's gonna stop me? What do we got going on? Actually, I know what it is. It's uh, this massive amount of water over the roadway here. See, roadway closed. I feel like I can make it. You guys think I can make it? Let's watch this guy go through it here. Let's see how, let's see how he handles it right down the middle. Ah, oh, yeah, we got this. We got this, no problem. Just an electric car gonna go out in the water, don't mind me. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> no freaking way I'm risking that. Anyway, that's what's going on with this update. Super fun. I hope you guys had fun on this drive here and please consider subscribing and hitting that like button for me if you were in any slight small way entertained because that's what helps me, literally helps me keep this channel going is when you do that, I believe I turn here. So thanks again for coming guys. I will see you on Monday. Wait, today's Monday. I will see you on the next video.